the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is one of those essential elements. It's needed for those nucleic acids such as DNA and RNA. And it's also needed for the formation of those amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. Attaining nitrogen or getting nitrogen is not as straightforward as you would think. There is a problem. Most of the Earth's atmosphere is made up of nitrogen gas. It's usually in this form, N2, two atoms of nitrogen bonded together with a triple bond. For this reason, atmospheric nitrogen is said to be unreactive or inert. Atmospheric nitrogen is not in a form usable by plants. Plants take in their nitrogen in the form of nitrate ions, and these nitrate ions enter the plant via the root hairs by means of active transport. Animals, they get their nitrogen either by eating the plants or by eating other animals that have eaten the plants. We have to fix this problem. We have to sort out this unreactive atmospheric nitrogen gas. It needs to be converted into a more usable form, ideally nitrate ions. This fixing of nitrogen or nitrogen fixation can happen naturally by means of lightning. Lightning converts the inert atmospheric nitrogen into nitrate ions which get washed into the soils and taken in by the plants. Volcanic action can also do the same thing and it can be performed chemically in a process known as the Haber process. As we've mentioned, plants take in their nitrogen from the soil through their root hairs in the form of nitrate ions. Bacteria are the only microorganisms in the soil capable of fixing atmospheric nitrogen. For your examinations, you have to know about two groups of bacteria that are involved in this process of nitrogen fixation. The first of the nitrogen fixing bacteria are those bacteria that are connected or associated with legumes, those plants such as clover and soya beans, and they are a special type of bacteria known as rhizobium. They are found in the root nodules of legumes, and remember examples are clover and soya bean plants. There is a symbiotic relationship between the bacteria and the legume, so a relationship in which they live in close proximity and at least one of them benefits, however they both benefit in this case. In this symbiotic relationship, the bacteria are gaining food and also a place to live, and the plant is also gaining nitrogen in the form of nitrate ions. As both the bacteria and the plant are gaining from the relationship, it's known as mutualism. The second group of bacteria involved in nitrogen fixation are those bacteria, aerobic bacteria, found free in the soil. These microorganisms, these bacteria, are going to fix atmospheric nitrogen gas. Atmospheric nitrogen is going to be converted into ammonia, and just to know that ammonia usually very quickly gets converted into ammonium. It's important to note at this stage that decomposers, namely bacteria and some fungi, can break down organic matter and release nitrogen in the form of ammonia into the soil. If we don't have nitrogen in the form of nitrate or nitrate ions, well then we need nitrification to take place. This involves the conversion of ammonia into ammonium, which then gets converted to nitrite ions, eventually to the more desirable nitrate ions. This process is carried out by bacteria and they are chemosynthetic bacteria. Chemosynthetic means that they use energy released from chemical reactions to make their food. So when nitrification has taken place, so you start off with ammonia and you end up with nitrate, the job is done. The nitrate enters the plant and the plant is going to use this nitrate to make other nitrogen containing organic compounds. And the nitrate gets transported in that vascular tissue, xylem. This is the nitrogen cycle, so eventually nitrogen has to find its way back to the atmosphere. This last part of the cycle involves more bacteria. They are known as denitrifying bacteria. They're anaerobic and they're found in boggy, wet, heavy soil. They convert nitrate back to atmospheric nitrogen. The cycle commenced with nitrogen fixation. This was where bacteria in the soil converted atmospheric nitrogen either to ammonia or directly to nitrate ions. The next step was nitrification, so if we had ended up with ammonia or ammonium, then we need nitrification. This involves the ammonia being converted to ammonium, which then got converted to nitrite, eventually ending up as the nitrate, the more favourable version. The cycle finished off with denitrification where nitrate was converted back into atmospheric nitrogen. 
Quite often in the examination, you will get a diagram where you have to fill in labels. Now, the usual ones of fixation and nitrification and denitrification are very obvious. However, sometimes you'll have to fill in decay, consumption, assimilation. Don't forget about that. That was the nasty nitrogen cycle. It's not that difficult if you go over it a few times. Tie it in with eutrophication and algal bloom, learn your ecology definitions and good luck.